As the year gallops to a close, I wanted to present you guys the very best dumpy videos of 2023. You're going for a walk, a long car ride, or if you just want to sit back, play video games, and have me in your ear, leave this on, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Big videos to come, and we are going to have a splantastic 2024. Love you guys, subscribe, leave a like, and enjoy. Bring the party up with your red cup ready. Did I intentionally cause my room to be dirty for laughs? No. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. Welcome to the bathtub. Every time I make a new video, I have no idea what I'm going to be talking about until like a minute into the recording. I usually just let it go. I usually just let it flow. But today, this video is super serious and I already know what I'm going to talk about. TikTok live streamer who refuses to clean his room. My friend came over and you can see his gaming setup's a little messy. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's even going on anymore. <laughs> Apparently, this is what everyone's talking about. But, I mean, for a good reason, because that was disgusting. But the subject in question is named Pow Envy? Poe Envy? But, I mean, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. This guy is a live streamer. He's on that non-stop 24-7 grind. You don't get a break in the beginning. No resting 100% 24-7 grind. So he just doesn't have the time to clean his room, all right? He's playing uh, Fortnite. And before we even get into this video, this entire subject is making me self-reflect because recently, guys, I've been on the grind. I haven't been keeping up with my room. I haven't been keeping up with cleaning myself up in the shower. I think recently I've let myself begin to smell like a bag of expired Cheetos. So before we even do this entire video, right now I'm going to clean my room and take a shower. My goal here is that if ever Pow Envy watches this video, he can take inspiration and maybe do some self-reflection and eventually clean that room himself, right? Let's do it, guys. Positivity Dumpy, family friendly Dumpy. All right, so um, I feel a lot better, but uh, yeah, today we're talking about Pow Envy's cleaning room comp compilation, uh, disregard for human safety compilation. I don't know, but I will say this guy has to be self-aware because he posted the compilation on his own channel. I'm pretty sure that's him. I mean, I have no idea, but anyways, if you guys end up enjoying the video, subscribe if you are new and drop a like and drop a comment giving me your thoughts on the situation, um, this very dirty situation. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. I have to ask the question, how is it even humanly possible to live like this? Sometimes I think my room is disgusting and all there will be on the floor is like maybe a small pile of clothes, maybe one disorganized item. This guy's entire room is a trash can. Are you seeing this dude? How does this guy- He must be waking up every day inhaling toxic chemicals and fumes based on the fact that all of the leftover food is cross-contaminating mixed with the fact that it's been sitting out for probably months on end. I believe that our good friend here, Pow Envy, is gonna get some kind of disease. First, I get started with the bed stand. This is where I have all my waters for my daily hydration. Okay, he threw away some bottles for his TikTok video, okay. We're, we're making progress, dude. I have so many various thoughts and opinions on what this guy's strategy is. Are we trying to make ourselves a meme? Like, I don't understand. Like, what has to go through your mind as a human being to put your disgusting hazard zone room out on display for millions of people to see? That would be like if I decided to buy a bunch of manure and just bring a bunch of cows inside my house. Number one, that's kind of weird. Number two, that's disgusting. Number three, why would I post that? I don't know. I mean, this guy might be getting viral off this shit, and maybe I should try it out too. As you can see, it's cleaned up. I'm getting the floor clean now. Still got a long way to go. The amount of DoorDash orders in his room, he is just left out. Now all of those fries that get into the nooks and crannies of every bag that he misses are just gonna rot and get moldy, and then ants are gonna get in there. Oh my god, this is just, this is horrible. I then grab the vacuum after picking up most everything. 
Okay, well, I mean, I guess he cleaned his room and it looks honestly a lot better here. But what is the point of cleaning your room if you're just gonna let your room get exactly like that after a week because his lifestyle choices aren't changing at all? He's still gonna get DoorDash, he's still gonna leave it out, he's still gonna get mold on it, ants are still gonna get all in his room. It's like, okay, cool, you're cleaning your room, dude, but it's like, how long until it gets even worse because you're just letting it get right back to how it was, probably within... A week? I mean, he gets a lot of DoorDash. Also, bro, when he turned 25, I mean, all the DoorDash is gonna catch up, and then the Goy Slop is gonna overrun the white boy's skinny power. Still got some stuff on the side to tidy up. And now my Roblox streams are ready to resume. What was that stain on his carpet? Tidy up. Oh my god. What in the blue nutsack? is that i hope this guy gets the uh help he needs though i love roblox i love roblox i love Ro oh my god now he's just sitting there repeating the term i love roblox in a very very irritating tune and also there's more stains on his floor what is that cleaning my room as a roblox streamer again first i went over what we have we have a roach infestation oh no guys, we're being too anti-positive. Dumpy channel is positivity to the max. So I will say though that uh, this guy right here, uh, Mr. Tony or whatever, he's doing great. And I'm glad that he's making positive steps to overturn this roach infestation such as putting down a roach trap. So good for this guy, man. Keep up the great work. I don't think it's caused by me. I think it's just a really invasive. We've got some bowls we have to clean up. Bro, nah, I'm done, dude. What the fuck? No, dude, you can't live like this, bro. You cannot live like this. The food is just sitting out. Like, it's literally getting moldy. You can see the mold on the food. Nah, bro, this is terrible. Why would he ever think it would be a good idea to post this? Ladies and gentlemen, it is never a good idea to post your moldy food in your moldy room. Um, found this hot dog. <laughs> July 4th. You know, I was about to start roasting this guy's chair, and then I realized my chair is turning into the same exact thing. I don't know why, but I've had my gaming chair for about two to three years now, and just, you know, standard wear and tear. It's an Amazon gaming chair. It's really uncomfortable. It's like the, the wheels are broken. The feet are bro- wheels, what? The feet are bro- the- the we- is it called a wheel? The tires of my chair are broken? I don't know. Chair sucks. I feel bad for this guy, man. I mean, wait, what? No, I don't. What am I talking about, dude? For a second there, I was getting too positive, but... Anyways, though, guys, let's let's put the party hats on and continue. Alright, we clean up this chair. Get some of these bowls down. That's a little crusted on. That's a little crusted on. Yeah, this right here, this bowl, that's just a little crusted on. No big deal. Just gonna throw it out back and get the shotgun out. Now, again, I don't know how old this guy is. Don't, like, go setting this guy hate or whatever. I don't know if he lives at home or if he lives in his Roblox YouTube mansion of revenue. I'm just not that sure. But I will say this. This guy, Mr. Vortex, but whatever the f This guy right here needs serious, serious evaluation. Is that not already obvious? I think it is, though, but I will say that this guy needs serious... <laughs> I'm just joshing around with you, dude. Let's continue. Might need to soak it in some hot water first. We have some frappuccinos. Looks like something tried growing in here. Not on my watch. Okay. Not on my watch. Now we got some snack trays. Gotta clean these up. Oh, you see that right there? That's a class A wad of hair. Nothing beats a good wad of hair in your cheese and salami. Growing up, cheese and salami was my favorite snack. And what I love to do was just like put my hand inside my hair and rip out a chunk of it and lightly, delicately throw it on the cheese and salami. Do you guys have a grasp on how disgusting this person's room is yet? I don't want my dog to eat him. I think he already did. Some of it's missing. Found a little baby roach trying to get away. Sorry, honey. Didn't mean to leave that down there. Hope you don't mind. Alright, well, that's about it. The room's pretty clean now. We've made a lot of good progress. So we're just going to finish up another day. Okay, I understand. So basically, this guy's entire brand, his entire meme, is just going to be documenting his dirty-ass room. And, uh, you know, I guess he thinks that he's going to go viral by people being like, Oh, wow, what a crazy room. Let's check out his Roblox streams. Unfortunately, I feel like the common man or woman is going to find a video like mine or another channel similar to mine 
that's looking at this guy's room and laughing at it. You know, I don't want to be a mean guy. I don't want to be rude, but I'm just trying to, you know... Goodbye. A YouTuber named Dumpy even mentioned that he had to pitch up some of the videos because Monty kept claiming it. Oh. My. God. Dad! I'm gonna be a YouTube star. I ran to my dad, I'm like, holy f***ing sh**, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a goddamn YouTube star! What's up, di guys? Today, we're gonna be talking about how the famous YouTuber, Dumpy, is creating a cult. Guys, I am shaking in excitement right now. I forgot all about this channel, but here we are, dude. Um, I- the, the, I'm excited. We're taking a look at Futuristic Hub. I covered them a few months ago, and I forgot all about them. And that video a few months back, uh, I think it got, like, taken down by a YouTube or something. I don't know why, man. Like, come on, dude. We're looking at family-friendly stuff here. Family-friendly stuff. Okay, no swearing today. PG safe content. And uh, I'll be honest, guys. It's gonna be hard to not swear because uh, it's gonna be rough today. All right, it's gonna be a rough video because we're watching Pennywise It versus New Bodies Basics Challenge official body Minecraft animation horror game. What did I just read? Regardless though, guys, um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. If you want more animation, just, just don't, just don't even ask for more of this shit. I mean, it, it's, it's like, I, I feel like I'm getting crippling diseases by making animation videos. I swear to God, dude, like, every single time I make an animation video, I feel like I'm becoming closer and closer to being a make-a-wish kid in a good way. Anyways, though, subscribe if you're new, and let's begin. Hello, kids. I'm pretty wise. What the fuck, man? I, I already swore, dude. Jesus Christ. Like, how am I supposed to sleep at night? How are the 10 year olds watching supposed to sleep at night after viewing that? What is that? Uh, it, 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 it's Pennywise, Dumpy. It's Pennywise. Fuck you. The dancing clown. Would you like to float? My girlfriend says I look like this person. Is that fucked up of her to say? <laughs> well, you will, if you don't click that like button. <laughs> See, I know that's supposed to be like what Pennywise would say, like, Oh my god, if you don't like the video, I'm gonna kill you. But I feel like the actual futuristic hub himself would be on some of that energy, right? Like, we've all heard the stories of his charity work and his marathon runs and his donations to autistic people, but I, I feel like there's a dark side to futuristic hub. I, I have no idea what it could be, though. Now. Well, I guess it's time for a change. I don't know why I didn't do this before. I, I wonder what I'll look like now. Maybe I'll have some hair. Yo, it's Caillou, bro. I missed you. It's been like two days. This is literally a visualization of what puberty looks like. Oh, you didn't get any hair. You're just Indiana Jones, dude. That sucks, man. Poor body. God. Guys, I don't like body. He seems like a whiny bitch. Wow. I, I Yo, do you think body uses that hand to jerk off? Yo, I'm joking, guys. Guys, it's a joke. I know body's like seven years old. I, I have no idea how old he is, by the way. Four years old. I'm going to prison. Hey, uh, my fingers are moving now? Oh, how cool. <laughs> and I got a new ruler, too. Oh, well, I... Uh... <laughs> Spit it out! The amount of content we've been doing recently, it's at, like, an all-time high in the last three to four months, and... <sighs> what you don't know about, about YouTube, guys, is behind the scenes, man, all this fucking cringe shit it does a lot to your mental health, and I, I think... I, I don't even know if I can make it to the end of this video. I hope I still have the other one that Santa gave me. Santa isn't real. Or I'm gonna have to ask Santa Claus this year for another ruler. Huh? Well, what's that? Is that a mirror? I look super cool! To be honest, guys, I know everyone watching right now wants me to, like, roast him or be like, Oh my god, he doesn't look cool, he looks gay! Come on, Dumpy, say something like that! Nah, man, to be honest, dude, 
Uh, Baldi looks actually really cool with his hat and his ruler. I thought the ruler was like a sword at first, but I think Baldi looks badass. Oh, <laughs> wait until the students get a load of me now! I don't like these sounds Baldi's making while he's having this nightmare. I don't like this at all. Futuristic Cub, I want to give you some constructive criticism, okay? Look, right? If I'm laying down in bed having a nightmare, realistically, if you want to add a little touch of realism, I would make these sounds in your video, okay? <coughs> Instead, it doesn't even sound like Baldi's having a nightmare. It sounds like he's having a great dream, you know? Those dreams you remember for a long time. Wet dreams. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, who was that scary dark figure? I can't tell if Baldi sounds gay or like Squidward. It's like a little hybrid of both. And it's not a bad thing either, by the way. It makes him recognizable and cool. Keep doing you, Baldi. We support you. We love you. This animation's draining me. I want to go to sleep and never wake up. What? <laughs> I think I should get a snack. Guys, to be honest, man, this animation, like the actual quality of it and, and everything like that, it look it's it's pretty cool. Like, let's be honest, it's cool. It's cool. Um, I wonder how much work actually goes into this, or if it, like hires people. But I'm actually really curious because all the little effects and shit, like. I, I bet it takes a while to do. Like, I really don't know. What I do know, though, is that it's a hundred times better than the Caillou shit, and it's a hundred times better than the, uh, fucking My Story animated shit. So I applaud you for that. Ah, the portal to Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. Where men become... Uh, men, I guess. I don't fucking know. Minecraft, where cowardly little boys become big Chad Alpha men. Hey, it's been a while, though, since I've seen anyone come through here. I, I wonder if it still works. Well, it looks like the portal still works. And, and here I am, back in Minecraft. I better be careful though, because Steve told me not to come back. What the hell, Baldi? Why would you not listen to Steve? He's the king of Minecraft! Alright, listen up, dude. Everyone watching this right now, you better not feel bad. The fuck? I'm like shaking my arm. I like feel the jiggle. Don't feel bad for Baldi. He's disobeying his master. He's disobeying not just his master, but the master of Minecraft. He deserves to be punished for his actions, his crimes. Let's see what happens. I should probably get back home. Psst. Huh? What was that? Okay, Futuristic Cub, you didn't have to make him that scary, dude. Tone it down just a tiny bit. This video came out three years ago. There's no toning it down. Hiya, Mr. Baldy. Who are you? Alright, first of all, Baldi doesn't listen to Steve, he enters the Minecraft world. Second of all, Baldi runs into this guy, and instead of running through the portal that's right behind him, he approaches him to speak with him. It's like when you're watching a horror movie, and they make every single wrong choice possible, and it leads to them all dying at the end of the movie. Like, why, why would I feel bad for you? And how do you know my name? Oh, everybody knows who you are. You're famous, you know, especially down here. <laughs> Dude, I can't get over how <laughs> I can't get over how terrifying this guy is. We all talk about you. Down there? I, and who's we? Oh, everybody at the party says how cool you are. In fact, uh, I'm having a little party myself right now. <sighs> well, that's crazy, isn't it? A party. Wow, that's so awesome, and cool, and awesome. Oh, really? Oh yes, with cake, ice cream, presents, and balloons. <laughs> Why did it sound like he was passing a kidney stone when he said balloons? Balloons. <laughs> I'm getting a hernia watching this. Huh? Hey, get your hands off me, you didn't answer the problem. 
Today we're talking about Roblox couples in spicy situations. What's that good guys? I'm trying to do one of those Roblox intros where the guy comes in with the lucid dreams instrumental in the background and he goes, Hey, what's up guys? Today we're looking at the top 10 hottest Roblox moments. And he has like the fire transition. I want to be that guy. But unironically, we're looking at a Roblox dater. We're looking at somebody who has a Austin McBroom looking like Roblox boyfriend in the game Roblox. My Ember. My Ember has some pretty cool Roblox Let's Plays, and the thing that sets them apart from the rest is their silk smooth voice. Yes! Today's video is sponsored by... Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! But if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you guys are all, at all, um, if you guys are new to being alive, and let's begin. Go! All right, I'm sorry. I know I played this clip like three times, and your ears are probably on the floor, like wiggling around and shit. But look, okay, you have to respect what my Amber's doing, right? Because she has this nasally, imposterous, preposterous, disgusting voice. And what what the YouTubers say is that the first five seconds of the video, they have to grab the viewer's attention, right? <laughs> And I would say that Meamber is doing this with a with a extra layer of success because of her voice being so dramatically terrible. What? Right now. Some block characters mouth sucking. It's just so ironic because this person does the same exact thing with their Minecraft boyfriend. They do the same exact thing. They plaster it all over their YouTube channel. Just kidding, look, you got some frosty uh, mint gum on your tongue right now. So your breath smells really oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm brushing my teeth. What are you gonna do? Uh and they have the audacity to log into RobloxMeetsLovers.com and say what is this on my screen right now? You do the same exact thing. Are you jealous of them? Do you want him low-key? Do you want this other girl's boyfriend low-key? Is that what you want? Are you a cheater? This is literally so cringe, guys. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is. You do the same thing. That would be like if I reacted to a commentary video and was like, Oh my god, this guy's talking over gameplay and, and he's reacting to things. Oh, that's so cringe. But being serious, unless Meamber is not being serious and they're fooling me and they're trolling and I'm stupid. And if that's the case, then that's a big Meamber W. Like and subscribe. And that girl came up and said, oop. <laughs> and I, oop. Literally, what the heck? You guys are just doing that out in the open? Just like that? I mean, yeah, that's the one thing, right? Like, this is so out of line. At least Meamber, she uh, touches her uh, Roblox boyfriend inside their house, right? I mean, tch. I mean, they need to learn privacy. This is embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, yeah. This is so embarrassing. Like, these t these poor little, I mean, these two little people outside in Roblox publicly dating, publicly showing each other their affection for each other, and you sitting there commentating on it. And now I'm commentating on the commentating. This is very embarrassing, especially for me. I mean, look, what am I doing with my life, man? I'm sitting here watching woman react to woman actually no they're probably two little gremlins when i was in the seventh grade i pretended to be a, a girl in clash of clans <laughs> i pretended to be a girl in clash of clans to get free stuff and it worked but hear me out okay this might be patched now because this was back in 2012 when i did this so sorry actually i was in seventh grade in 2014 so when was this i don't even remember i am feeling the embarrassment somehow i'm embarrassed I'm embarrassed, guys. Should we get a house or apartment? Oh my gosh. I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out if this video is, like, serious or not. Because this person, like I said earlier, does the same exact stuff with their Austin McBroom boyfriend. Like, the same exact stuff. I literally made a video reacting to this, and it was even worse than what they were doing. Because you could actually hear their voice, and you could hear their dialogue together. It's like, hey, babe, can you use the shower? Oh, you're such a stinky boy. Like, it's actually disgusting. And this person has the audacity to hop on the track and go, oh my god, what are these people? They're, they're copying my flow. Like, are you jealous? I don't understand. Please no. Please no. Apartment. Okay, kiss. They just spawned an apartment. I am at a loss for words, guys. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm gonna go grab a water. I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm refreshed. And now I think we're gonna continue the video. <laughs> that was so cringe. I literally just joined Brookhaven, by the way, and... 
that's what I walk into. Wasn't this you like a few weeks ago? Dude, I got a good workout. You know, I did arms and shoulders and stuff. And oh yeah, I did abs. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> abs, yeah. I think me Amber is a hypocrite. And hypocrites deserve to be spit. It on in roblox it's becoming that more common it's ridiculous but anyways you guys you already know the drill i'm sorry i have to repeat myself for the fifth time now to really cement that i am a commentary channel okay this person got popular for making content e-dating inside a roblox game okay having a boyfriend having a hubby wubby inside roblox they're preaching to the kids hey guys i'm cool i got these videos where i got a boyfriend in roblox like that's what they're doing right and then when people are following in her footsteps, it's a problem? Like, what? It just does not make any sense, right? It does not make any sense at all. We are going to go up there and we're going to spy on them, but... What the fuck? You're gonna spy on them? What are you trying to see? Third graders touching each other? I really hope this is staged and fake. I, it probably is. I mean, come on, it's YouTube content in 2022. This entire video you're watching right now by me, the Dumbotron, it's all fake, right? So I really hope that you're not spying on two random kids because... That does not look good at all. That that sounds terrible. But again, we are in a new day and age. So, I mean, before we know it, that shit will be legal. The the kid touching shit. I mean, look at all the Minecraft people. I have an idea, okay? Merry Christmas, by the way, you guys. Dude, her voice. I cannot get over her voice, man. She is... What does she do with her audio? I know my audio isn't the best. I mean, just the other day, someone told me to turn my shit down. So, sorry, guys. I'll do ASMR. But her audio is on a whole nother level, man. She's like, hey, guys! Hey, look at my like, that's what it sounds like. I heard that back, and that's literally exactly what it... Should I make my own Roblox channel where I have a boyfriend? It sounded so accurate. I thought my Ember was in my room. Like, seriously. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. And in honor of Christmas, we are going to be spying on those online daters as a Christmas tree. So if you want to see me spy on some online daters and expose them while dressed up as a jolly Christmas tree... Then give the video a like right now. Well, well, I mean, uh, technically, my Amber, um, I can still watch you do this without liking the video. Sorry, not sorry. You're bad. And let's go. You guys, I'm literally a Christmas tree. Wow. I don't know how, but I'm a whole Christmas tree right now. Insightful commentary, uh, my Amber. So you asked the question, I don't know how I'm a Christmas tree. I got you. So basically what she did is you went into the Roblox commands and you said, slash change character Christmas tree, and now you're a Christmas tree. Oh my god, you did it. <gasps> that is insane! Okay, well now that we are a Christmas tree and we are disguised, and it makes sense for a Christmas tree to be in someone's house or apartment, I think we're ready to go spy on some online daters, specifically those ones that you guys just saw, because that was cringe. Yeah, I mean, Roblox dating is cringe. Like, uh, uh, why do I wake up in the morning? Now let's go head over to the apartments and let's go. Okay, guys, we are at his apartment let's see what they've been saying in the chat guys because it's been a while since they spawned this apartment or actually honestly i'm not sure if i saw what their username was guys but right there there they are he said eat cookie Ooh, they're eating cookies you know what that means guys it's getting real spicy and tingly after uh adults eat cookies and they want to have special fun time in the bed together they uh they what after people who go grabsy grabsy private parts eat cookies they get really excited and it speeds up the process so this will be good guys we are witnessing something right now she just put a shocked face and he said i got you an early christmas present and there is someone already spying on them guys already how is there 11 minutes of this video you know what? i gotta get to the good stuff i can't take this anymore i cannot take it and i Assuming they just went back into the room and and she died in a burning fire so um that was a pretty revolutionary video i think roblox content has gotten to the point here guys on youtube where it is getting upper echelon it is getting life-changing it is getting making your brain filled with fluid and you're gonna die in three to six hours my ember knocks it out of the ballpark all the time i mean just her voice alone is why you should subscribe yeah Good morning! Just woke up. 
I don't know what time it is. Actually, I do know what time it is. Tea time, tea time, tea time, tea time. Just woke up in Miami. About to go eat with Sneeko. And yeah, let's get it. G7, it's a mindset. G7, it's a mindset. I don't care how much money's in your bank account. If you got the G7 mindset, you already a millionaire. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In which today's video, we're talking about FuzzyTube and all of what is he has been up to recently. So FuzzyTube was a big prankster back in the day. So FuzzyTube was basically a big prankster back in the day. He had a huge, successful, popular pranking channel where he would make some funny pranks that were all fake. Yeah, so FuzzyTube made fake, fake pranks and then he uh, fell off and then he tried to come back on by saying that he's going to do a concert with Drake called July 15th, which was basically a manic episode portrayed... Then he fell off again, and then he tried to come back on the Mom's Basement podcast with Keemstar and Face Banks, launching that he's going to get into boxing stuff, and that him and Keemstar are going to do Happy Punch together. <laughs> and then Fousey Tube fell off the face of the earth once again, and then, then just all of a sudden overnight came back with these viral clips from live streaming 24-7 in real life on Twitch. Twitch is a video streaming platform where people can make live stream content, IRL live streaming became very popular due to the likes of Ice Poseidon. FusiTube is basically the modern day Ice Poseidon doing IRL content outside in real life. That's right, when I say IRL, I don't mean just a face cam. I mean FusiTube is in the trenches. He literally went to the airport, picked out a potential piece of ass, and made advances to that ass. Wow, high club. And I went as the Mile High Club because I was in the airport so I joined it. I swear to God, I swear on everything I love. I swear on everything I love. I just joined the Mile High Club in the airport, in the men's bathroom. You left her in the bathroom? gave her a choice. I said, you want to come to the men's bathroom or the women's bathroom? She said men's. So it was her option. She came into the men's. So when I left, I said, you leave. Go into the women's immediately. Clean your face and clean your mouth. Ha ha. You guys got pranked. Bro. I don't even know where to begin. Do I, do I, do I even break that down? I don't, I, don't, I don't think I need to break that down to... Uh, I'm not watching the rest of this. Yeah. You got more money? How much? 2,495? Let's get it. Hey. And by the way, to everybody I was joking around with before, it was actually a prank. So please respect her and don't disrespect her right now. You know what? You know, you know what, Chad, guys? I'm going to go on another limb here and say that um, I I feel like, under the assumption, that it, the reason why I think it's not a prank for my, allegedly, um, is that he, he seems really um, relieved and almost almost like nonchalant about the fact she, that she got more money. All the emotion is gone. It's just like post nut clothing type shit, right? Um, so he's kind of like drained out pretty much. So I, well, yeah, that, that that's my actual read on it. Um, that's my real. That's my, that, that, that is my, that's my, that, that's my read. This is a Claims I smashed and then said, all my life I never smashed. And uh, it's obvious he, he did smash. He claims he's sober, yet he's not sober because this manlet has to be doing coke to perform like this every single day, nonstop. I mean, he's live right now. I need a picture, dog. That's it. I deserve it. I went, I went bankrupt in 2018. Now I'm the most hot person on the internet, sober. I stalked you before, by the way, but I'm sorry. I want to explain to you what happened. I met you. Well, I didn't meet you. We made eye contact. Very close. Your team, I'll tell you his name, said you were coming to my event, and he liked me. 
Wait, where's the- Ow! Where's the fucking verse? Dude, Fousey has literally lost it. He is going on and on and on about July 15th, which if you don't know what happened, FouseyTube had like a, an event and he got a bomb threat called on it. And he went on this mental tirade, this manic tirade saying that Drake will be at the event. Then he started streaming and he changed the title of the stream to Needs 2 million viewers for Drake to show up. I don't even know if there's 100k. But the point is, this man has lost his mind. He's now banned on Twitch, so you can catch this action on Kick. But yeah, he's lost his fucking mind. But in losing his mind, FouseyTube has made a name for himself online. And FouseyTube has been just making the headlines for all of the wrong reasons. But he announced that he got a life-changing 15 million dollar kick deal a deal to stream on the platform kick for two years worth 15 million dollars and that's great you know really proud of fuzi wow you know no better person to deserve such a great long wealthy contract but apparently he could be losing it so i came across this video called fuzi breaks down and cries after losing kick deal and you already know we will be watching yeah, my pe my family is about to cut me off. I just got a text from my entire family. F fire first clip, bro. Just give me the address. I'll Seventy-one thirty-four. No, no, no. Fuck! You can't say the address out loud, dog. People called the restaurants and literally. Okay, like <clears throat> one second. Fusey soup. Don't you think you could have gone about that in a much more chill way? You letting your little manlet outburst succumb to your overall expression is hindering the audience's outward portrayal of you. You might think to yourself, oh, I'm chill, I'm mentally stable, but then when people see these clips, even though, you know, you in your head could think, I'm good, these clips prove otherwise. Fusitsu, please get it together. Really call bomb threats on me. We got a summer, I think. I'm not day. calling your restaurant. Or whoever is. That's not has nothing to do with me. I'm here to eat at your restaurant. Why is he lying? Yes, it has something to do with you, you dumb fuck. What else would it be? Like, seriously, bro. Do you think people are just gonna get a bunch of phone calls about someone named Tube? And then they like, come on, why don't we use our big boy brains today, Fuzzy? You thought we we're growing up in the world of society. But he's gonna sit there and lie. Okay. I'm not calling. You're seeing me sitting here right now. Right. I know you're not calling. Yeah. But apparently, people are calling a restaurant. If I leave right now, trust me, they're gonna fuck with you guys all day and they're gonna put negative Yelp reviews if you don't let me eat. I promise you that. I'm not threatening you. I'm just okay. telling you. Get... Oh my god, this guy's the biggest main character syndrome of all fucking time. Oh, if you don't serve me, my dedicated, loyal, long time fans would mess with you all day because the king's not being served. If you don't serve the king, my fans will revolt. Do you really think it's gonna happen, bro? Are you being fucking serious? FuzzyTube literally has the biggest god complex on planet earth get your manager thank you we might have to leave right away that bitch of a guy is trying to kick us out he's doing his job fuzzy tube what the f i thought you were a man of religion and higher power what happened to having an open mind and thinking about your fellow brethren and what's going on in their own physical malbeings fuzzy tube has become an asshole Which one? one of them the bald-headed dude the square looking dude. Oh, oh, because there's a lot of people calling. It. Yeah. <laughs> dude, the girl just shit on her coworker. Fousey goes, the square looking dude. Her, oh yeah, yeah, I know who that guy is. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. He kind of smells like fish. You getting bomb threats? Do you want us to leave? I can't turn it. I'm not doing anything. I could leave. Somebody, here's what happened. Somebody drove by and saw him. I'll leave. It's okay. You seem like you're gonna cry. I don't want to hurt your- Bro, just leave, FouseyTube. Holy shit, this guy is such an ass. Like, you already know this girl's having a rough day. You know that you're the cause of this whole situation. Yet you, you sit there and you amplify the situation by acting oblivious to the fact that, yeah, you're the reason why a bomb threat was called at the fucking restaurant, puss. Classic FouseyTube. Classic FouseyTube. And that's not what it is, and I don't Nobody's doing a bomb threat, man. Wake up. I'm fucking crying, dude. Wake up, lady. Wake up. Open your third eye right now, dude. FusiTube literally thinks he's God, IRL. 
Nobody's doing a bomb threat. It's a 13 year old at home trying to scare you. Don't cry. Somebody called in a bomb threat in 2018 and made me lose millions of dollars. They're doing this to fuck with me, not you guys. I don't want the food, by the way, and I'm not paying for it. It just came out. No, no, no. Fuck this restaurant. Food seems to be for some money, bro. Why did I pay for that food, bro? My God, like, you're causing this huge inconvenience. There's gonna be bombs fall from the sky on this restaurant, dude. And, like, you can't even just pay for the food, Fusey Tube. Holy shit, this guy, bro. I don't want the food. I want to eat Fusey's ass. <laughs> Pokimane ruined her career, and it's over. And it's awful. Oh, my God. It's so terrible. Oh, my God. Pokimane is one of the most dipshit fake fu- on YouTube and they deserve to be uh, talked about for like 10 minutes one simple look at any of her recent controversies you can make a very bold assumption that she does not believe in anything and she wants the money I respect it I respect it I do the same thing too I'll do the same thing too um, I do the same thing too bro you just go on her Twitter it's so just nauseating content on there one second, let me redo that. You go on her Twitter and it's nauseating content. Some of the most disturbing posts. Live now, Q&A featuring Factor Meals. Hashtag Factor Partner. Get 50 off your first box with code Pokemon. What does this actually mean? Why is she sponsored, dude? She came for my sponsors, actually, bro. She actually came for my entire channel. She pressed a button that doesn't give me views anymore, dude. I literally saw it happen firsthand. But she posts all these pictures on Twitter, and you could sum it up to be like, oh, that's her content, it's part of her branding. She needs to post these mirror selfies to really encapsulate the fact of her status as an online creator. She needs to keep posting these pictures to keep her name in the limelight. I think these pictures are baiting bullshit for her tier 5 subs. I think that Pokemon, and I, I wholeheartedly believe this when I say this, I think that Pokemon needs to be laid out on the road, right, on the road, double yellow lines right there, and uh, let's, ju let's just have a train derailment do its thing, you know? Just, you know, whichever way it goes. Okay, here we got a tweet from Mr. Fallen from Grace Myth, almost like Dumpy here on the Dumpy YouTube channel. He says here, I'm gonna say it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Pokey making your own decision about not wanting to be on a platform. Y'all be projecting like a mother fricker simply because she wants to operate differently than y'all. What happened to live and let live? Fake motherfuckers. It's so funny, bro. Fake motherfuckers. Do you think Myth actually believes that? Or do you think that he just wanted the itsy bitsy little Pokemon retweet to get his 50k likes? If you guys have seen the video, it is the most Karen backwards, ooh, I'm better than you fucking video I have ever witnessed, bro. I I'm actually surprised it's out there. It's a really good video too, you know? I think we should watch it together right now. But before we watch the video, if you guys are watching this far, I would like to ask you to please leave a like on the video to help it do better, and subscribe if you're new to the video somehow. I don't know how the hell you got here, but uh, if you're new here, just feel free to uh, subscribe, you know? I, I, I make chill videos, and uh... My bad, sorry. Okay, clip just starts off. Immediately, you gotta love the lo-fi hip-hop chill, study beats to game, and jerk to in the background, bro. <laughs> Do you hear that shit? And she's already shaking her head. What's wrong, Pokey, my queen? Please, come back home. Pokemon left me for, uh, myth, and, uh, now I have to fight him. No, and it's not because I got, like, $10 million. It's just because I'm good as I am. Uh, okay, by the way, she totally has 10 million dollars, okay? Do not, do, do not let her fool you, okay? She's trying to use her woman tactics, bro. Don't let her work out. Pokemon is probably the number one most evil woman I've ever seen uh, in my entire life, dude. I, I haven't seen her in real life yet, but uh, on the internet, that's all you need to know about someone, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you if you notice them online being a fake motherfucker, they deserve to have their careers completely ended and annihilated, right? Uh, that's how it works, right? Why would I ha, 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 compromise my morals and ethics? Oh, you gotta love that the little. Why would I ha, 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 compromise my morals and ethics by streaming on and subsequently indirectly promoting a gambling funded platform like Kick? I mean, XQC did it, but you no, know, those are his ha, 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 morals and ethics. 
Can you believe this person is fucking real, bro? This stupid big Pokemon, bro. I can't believe she's real. Like, every single time words leave her mouth, the Grand Canyon trip, the fence, climb over it, dive down, no parachute. For more money when I have money, something about that is so cringe. Oh, Dumpy, why do you pause the video so much? Because I want to, bro. And how could I not pause the video there anyways? Do you hear what she's saying? She's saying it's cringe to have money and want to make more money. Oh, it's so cringe. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, I'm kind of out of breath because I had to go up and down the steps. <laughs> Uh, don't, 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 don't comment like, oh, dude, you're, you're out of shape, bro, hit the gym, W and Chad, if Dumpy needs to hit the gym, dude, these are the Stairmaster 37s, my apartment complex only supplies my apartment with the Stairmaster to go up and down, and no, it's not the gym equipment, it's literally, like, titanium stairs, dude, there's no elevator, it's only stairs, it's horrible. What are we talking about, Pokemon? Yeah, Pokemon's bad, bro. I'm gonna rap, uh, make a rap about how Pokemon is bad. Pokemon's bad. Pokemon makes me sad. Some days, I'm lost in my ways. Some days, I'm stuck in a daze. Pokemon makes me want to go Billy Maze. Guys, this will be the video that cracks the seal of absolutes 10k views. Guys, we have not hit 10k views. In like four days guys it is over if this video doesn't do it bro it's over to me personally like i i understand you know if you if you need to make money right for for me to do cringe shit when i have my i can't like ew <laughs> how do i Viewers, do you understand, guys? You're watching me, you're viewing my live stream, you're watching my content, because this is only a Pokemon problem, dude. You guys can't relate to me, dude. What? I got millions already in the bank. 10 mil two-year deal for XQC? Motherfucker, I make 10 mil every six months. Get on my level. Those are the vibes I get from this Pokemon clip we are watching currently right now on the Dumpy YouTube channel. Can someone put this into words better than I can? It's almost embarrassing. Yeah, it is embarrassing. I think that's a good title, actually. Recently at the uh, sort of climaxes of the video, sort of the resolutions, sort of the... Lord of the Rings, Return of the King type vibe of my video in that sort of context. Like, towards the end of the video, I've been asking you guys, is this a good title? What should I title the video? How do I milk YouTube's algorithm once again? I think Pokemon is embarrassing, all caps. That might be the one. But yeah, to put it shortly, dude, Pokemon is kind of a... Uh, should I say worthless creature? Does that do it well? I don't know, man. She just kind of gets on my nerves, bro. With this whole little, I'm a little white girl, and I'm innocent, and I've done no wrong, and I'm the best. Done no wrong? Pokemon's made apology videos. What are you talking about, dude? Pokemon's apologized. Suck my chubby little chum chum. I don't even care about the apology she's made before. She only makes those apology videos when she's ducked into a corner and everybody is after her, bro. This video I'm making right now, not comprehensive, no script, I'm rambling on, I'm being like offensive to women sometimes and I probably, I don't know. But it's all for the showmanship, it's all for the jokes, it's all for the internet, it's all to make you guys laugh, right? Mother fricker, dude, if this got 5 million views, Pokemon would apologize to me for being so wrong, you know? If this got 5 million views right now, she would have to address it. She'd be like, guys, my bad, dude, Dumpy has it right. What do I have right? Absolutely nothing. I got blocked by Tana Mojo on Twitter, and I had no idea until recently. If I had to, you know, give it a reason or give my thoughts, it's probably because the Brent Rivera attack this February. You know all these LA YouTubers like cut their blood and put it in a big pot and you know they all like have each other's back and shit like that but regardless let's get to the video. Like I won't mollywop her ass. Oh, alright alright let's get right to it let's get right to it. Alright alright let's get right to it. Tana Mojo is a popular vlogger slash internet um IRL celebrity slash uh 
woman who has big boob. You guys might have heard of her from the iDubbbz content cop that came out back in 2017, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, man, it's crazy because she is super popular, bro. She's so popular with everyone who's a woman, all the women love her, and uh, you know, she lives that LA lifestyle, she has the LA friends, and she has the LA backstabbing friends, and she got, well, she got screwed over low-key, and you might be asking, well, Dumpy, you're not a tea channel, you know, why are you covering this tea spill -esh, esh content? Well, it's because I'm actually a tea channel now. So like I said, Tina Mojo, popular, uh, influencer <laughs> and uh yeah she's super killing it and uh there's a little bit of a tail to the madness here so basically tana back in the day had a friend well she still has a friend but her name was brooke okay and basically what brooke did to tana was that brooke slipped it in to herself but what she slipped in tana thought like damn me and him could maybe be a thing right maybe me and him could make it to the top but then Brooke got on top. So of course, Tana saw Brooke as a little friend and she decided to air out all of her grievances with a very in-depth video titled, I Caught My Best Friend Hooking Up With My Man, A Storytime Rant Scandal. So let me just tell you, when this went down, this was basically like the white girl holocaust. Like this was crazy. Imagine Tana's best friend, the one that she put on, right? The one that she just had so much love, appreciation, admiration for, right? That friend. And she stabbed Tana in the back. Back. She backstabbed Tana. How dare her? Luckily for the fate of white girls and the fate of humanity, they were able to patch things together and they actually ended up making a podcast called Cancelled. Super popular podcast, super popular, 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 popular views, money, sponsorships, making it big. Now, let me break this down for you guys because, you know, as a T channel now, I really need to be concise and give you the facts, okay? This might be the part in the video where you guys are thinking, Oh, this is where Brooke does it again. This is where Brooke does it again. Well, no, but actually on the canceled podcast is where a new Mindy gets exposed. What's Mindy? It's like the code word name to not expose Brooke's name in the OG video I showed, this video. Tana refers to her as Mindy throughout this video. So now there's a Mindy 2.0 scandal, dude. It's huge. Now, I believe this controversy, this scandal, this drama is by far way more serious than the last one. Now, let me, uh, let me tell you why. Well, it's simply because this is the second time it's happened to Tana with a friend that's even more OG than Brooke, I think. I have no fucking idea. The friend's name is Ashley, though. Ashley. Ashley and Tana holding hands, running through the tulips together until one day, Ashley said, Dude, I want some cock. Now, this podcast episode we're referring to is very long, very in-depth. So I decided that today we're going to do a kind of like a collab where the other person doesn't know I'm collabing with them. And I'm basically just reacting to their video. Um, but uh, it, it's it's my girl, it's my home girl, uh, Spill Sesh. Me and Spill Sesh go way back. She basically defended me from the Brent Rivera goon squad, all that shit. So I thought, you know, today I'd pay it back to her by... You know, because I have 3 million subscribers, I'll, I'll, I'll put her on, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if it's really not your thing and you're into other stuff, that's no problem. Just kind of tell me what you guys want to see from me in the comments down below. And we can make it work out. All right, let's go. Obviously, her and Tana were able to work through it. And ooh, 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 context time. Um, T-Spill is talking about, Spill Sesh is talking about, uh... Brooke and, and Tana. They are super close and they do the canceled podcast together, but there's definitely been a lot of stuff that has happened online with people not liking Brooke because of the situation. A lot of people do like Brooke now, but especially in the beginning, people really held this against her and didn't like the fact that Tana and her were friends again. Right, because like, who is Tana to make her own decisions? You know what I'm saying? Like Tana should uh, not be friends with whoever she wants to be friends with, right? And not do business with such an evil friend. Bro, Tana Mojo is a grown-ass 40-year-old woman. Let her do what she wants to do. And they just didn't feel like Tana should have forgiven her. And there's even been times where Ashley has admitted that she does not like Brooke because of the whole Mindy situation. Uh, 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 how ironic is that? Are you and Brooke friends? Why don't you and Brooke follow each other? What's the tea with you and Brett? Or Mindy, should I say? I don't know. Personally, the whole Mindy situation rubbed me the wrong way, and I personally wouldn't want to be friends with someone that would do something like that. Uh, just Damn, and then she goes behind Tana's back and does it. Isn't that insane? 
Friends are insane, dude. But now Ashley is getting called out for basically being a Mindy. And Tana and Brooke sat down to talk about what they found out during Tana's birthday trip in Turks and Caicos recently. God, man, these rich people. The birthday trip in Turks and Caico. What the fuck does that mean? And of course, only a betrayal so huge and so hard hitting can only happen at a Turks and Caico. Tana flew out all of her best friends for her birthday. She loved the tart Turks and Caicos trip so much that she decided that she wanted to go back for her birthday and she wanted her friends to have that experience too. So that's where they went. They were living their best lives in this. They were living their best lives and then Tana's Mojo's friend just had to put some, you know, sausage inside her fanny. Isn't it crazy how like all these friendships just get destroyed by lust? You know what I'm saying, dude? It's like, people would literally devalue themselves and tear each other down for some schlong. ...house for a week with chefs and bartenders at their service. They said it was literally amazing until the very last night. And that's when things were getting revealed and all this stuff was going down and it's just not good. And basically, the only reason why they're talking about this is because things were being talked about on reddit and so now because the internet kind of knows there was drama from the trip they want to just address it and that's why they're talking about it and this guy has more money than i'll ever have in my entire life the reason the internet knew what was kind of going down was because tana said she was seeing red when the situation was going down she was seeing red and she took to twitter and she tweeted out i am in my anyone can get cut off era xo don't really want friends they're Let's see who lasts. Oh my god, the tea is really boiling up. Tea. <laughs> it's getting tea in here. Do you think these tea channels are like actually passionate about the Tana Mojo drama? Or do you think they only do it to cut a check? I don't know, man. Because obviously there's like a huge market for it. I wonder if they used to be like tea watching fans back in like 2012. And now they have to carry the torch of the drama now the thing that really gave it away that there was some boy drama that went down on this trip was that tana under a photo that this guy joey was in that she invited to her birthday she said update guys he mindied me ha 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 damn she's just airing out everything huh she's like nah 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 you can get canceled ah, you can get cut off oh my god the fuck oh my god the tea is so hot bro the tea is so hot. The tea is so hot. The tea is so hot. Why'd I get blocked by Tana? All I did was say, hey, you know, I don't really like Brent Rivera, and I check her Twitter to make a video on this shit, and I'm blocked, bro. Tana literally supports Brent Rivera, dude. It's that LA hive mind. Like, all the LA people have interconnected, like, blood and shit. It's weird. I can't wait for the day for Brent Rivera to Mindy or backstab or whatever the fuck Tana, you know what I'm saying? Because how the hell do you side with that little nimwit? Brent Rivera. It's so screwed up. It's honestly so screwed up. And dude, I, 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 Tana deserved it, bro. She deserved all this shit, dude. I don't even give a fuck, bro. She deserved it. She deserved it all. <sighs> Those are the sounds after I drink half of a small coffee. A, a grande. I hate the terms. Like, just say large, medium. Why is it grande, venti? It's so stupid. I feel beneath a normal human being when I order coffee and say those terms, right? <laughs> But regardless, though, today we're talking about Illuminati, right? I mentioned the poop thing because check this out. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. And you just thought you were going there to piss. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know, shitting out Mona Lisa's arm. And you're like, I don't know what happened here, but here we are. But listen, all right, this video is going to get pretty serious. So if you guys don't like serious videos, go somewhere else, dad. But today we're checking out uh, my boy Augie RFC. He, uh, <laughs> but, um, my boy Augie, check out the Red Fox comms channel, be sure to subscribe to that. He posted a video, uh, about how Illuminati is a deranged psychopath, possibly an abuser too, on top of all of the other things she's been doing. So I thought today we're gonna investigate by checking out his video. And talking over it but um you know it should be cool because you know yesterday i mentioned that you know i don't want to milk the illuminati topic too well i do augie i do i do i haven't milked it enough right like everyone's like oh you milk too much i haven't milked it enough because i've only ever made one video on this topic so you can't come out for milking it right yet if this video does well um expect another video right after it about the same person and i'll just make up shit I mean, I'll uh, thoroughly investigate shit stuff. Extremity, right? But everybody was telling us, they're like, no, 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 keep covering. And in fact, look into this situation. 
Yeah, sorry, let me introduce you to the character. So this on the bottom left is Augie RFC. On the right is his boyfriend, Connor. All right, if you guys are homophobic, just stop. All right, stop it now. They have a beautiful thing going on, okay? Just stop. ...situation with Blair's ex-boyfriend because what he has to tell is quite a lot. And now, this video is going to be a long one, guys. This yeah. is going to be a juicy... Oh, don't worry, guys. My video will not be a long one. You see one today. It's going to be full of a lot of information. I mean... I don't even know how to summarize what we're about to get into because it's just so much. I mean, we've got confirmation of Blair's behavior, but also something really dark and sinister. Like, this video will get a little bit dark. I'm yeah. not going to lie, I'm guys. I'm so excited. I mean, we basically have confirmation at this point, you know, assuming that everything he's saying is true, of course, that Blair actually... Imagine this guy's just lying to hop on the dog pile. Also, he left Blair, and now, check the top right, he's a new black woman. Now, the fact that I'm 23.1% comment litter box right now on this video the fact that i'm 23.1 percent black the fact that i'm 23.9 percent black i almost forgot how much black i was i'm really liking this all right i'm really liking this a lot really weaponized is suicidal people's oh my god my discord went off guys how embarrassing first moments against them and has a history of doing this right yeah. so you wonder why would blair confidently post wonderstruck's you know private information that he was gonna kill himself his suicide letter Post all Posting his suicide letter, like what the fo- Dude, this Illuminati person, I learn new and new lore every single five seconds. All this sensitive information about Wonderstruck, like why would she do this? Well, maybe perhaps if you take a look at Blair's ex-boyfriend and some of the stuff that he has to say, maybe this starts to make just a little bit more sense. Like yeah. I said, this could be a deep one, this could be a dark one. We did a lot of research on this story and, you know, the Illuminati stuff, it's not- it genuinely is not like we're just scraping the bottom of the barrel to- I mean, I am. That's what, that's what I'm doing, dude. But look at Augie. He has the good facts and knowledge, right? Everyone go subscribe to the Red Fox Comms channel. Really good content. It's it's actually really good content. Uh, you guys need to check it out. Drop a like on the video and uh, say in the comments that uh, like I sent you or something. But yeah, no, this guy he makes really good stuff. And I scrape bottoms of barrels, all right? But we're going to get into this part where- uh, Blair's ex-boyfriend actually called into Augie's stream with a very disturbing revelation. Check it out. Abusive ex was controlling it all. But you want to know something crazy is that I actually had this guy on my show four years ago. Because you guys yeah. know, I've been doing YouTube now for like six, seven years or something like that. Four years ago, and I can't believe this escaped my memory. But four years ago, I had Blair's ex-boyfriend on because I used to cover Blair all the time you guys think Bla dude augie used to literally cover his body with oil and then wrestle blair in a mud pit i saw it firsthand it was gross blair only got into drama now no 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 blair has been getting into trouble for years now and i've mentioned on some of these videos that i've had personal dealings with her and everything that she's been exposed for recently Line wait what the fuck is this tweet when illuminati told me that as a stripper she took clients into the champagne room and would threaten them with violence uh, lie to bouncers about being molested and have them beat the person up if they didn't give her more money I should have been that should have been the last red flag Bro, what the fuck bro? This person is insane Lines up and I wasn't kidding although I did forget having this guy on and if you dude this guy Why would he? Never mind, but I'm not gonna you know what never mind Look at the tweet that spurred my attention dude Illuminati like she could isn't she like 700 pounds? 2019, he's got quite a lot to say. Let's get let let's get into it. Right. So he tweeted back in 2019, and I covered this when Illuminati told me that as a stripper, she took clients into the champagne room and would threaten them with violence, lie to the bouncers about being molested, and have them beat Jeez. and have them beat the person up if they didn't give her more money. Should have been the last red flag. Now. Many people that have been previous friends of Blair will confirm and I mean she was a stripper. I mean yeah. she would talk Dude, Augie went back to the champagne room and dude he got he he got beat up. But this openly, she would talk about it all the time. She even bragged that she had uh previous previously done work in the porn industry. Right. Oh my god, never mind, bro. Augie did not know anything about that though. But he did he did go to the the, the private room. <laughs> of her close friends but as soon as back in 2019 anyone publicly brought it up she got really really kind of asked mad about it she didn't like people publicly talking about it 
But no, she would talk about it a lot, but as soon as she started getting more notoriety and attention as yeah. a Reddit channel, as a family-friendly channel... Yeah, she didn't want to be a part of that shit. All right, I'm trying to get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Uh, um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I put a cheese grater over my poop as it came out of my butthole to make poop mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to try it out tonight, bro. I think it's going to be really good stuff, dude. I mean, we had multiple conversations about her past activities we dated on and off for about three years so i i know pretty much there every this guy looks like my dentist everything there is to know at least i hope so you know in the in the course of this interview and you can go back and find the stream if you want to listen to it he never provides proof for this and i get it this is an outlandish claim and i mean even now i don't know if necessarily everything he's singing in the suite is true but like i said before we've got a billion screenshots a billion to investigate screenshots. that have all come out. Billion uh, tweets. Even back then, but also recently. Billion and people it's watching me poop. Dumpy, stinky. My life is going nowhere. In a very, you know, devastating picture of the type of person Blair is. So just take this story with the grain of salt. It no, I'm taking the story at full face value, bro. Oh, he lives in Nevada. His family lives in Nevada. It's Nevada, bro. What? Interacting with a schizo doctor to intimidate her ex. Call should I'm be, not joking. This call should be being had, like, behind it. Sam, that they would make a call. But I'm doubtful. He says, I'm afraid I can't offer you my files. I stated it during the recording. And it's, uh, a lot has been revealed so far. And it kind of goes. And when bro, where's the molestation? This person honestly needs to be stopped, bro. Like, I, I think that we need to put them in a straitjacket and push them down the steps. What is, is that? Mama? Try reading that, bro. Try reading that. Yeah, like, there's no even chance. Us, even us, with how trained we are reading it, at fast yeah. paces, no shot we can read this. What's good, what's good? Today I have a brand new video for you right now, this very instant. It's gonna be very cool. XQC is in deep trouble and people are mad at XQC because he's been illegally streaming and watching movies, TV shows, and maybe hardcore pull and that's not okay. But yeah, I would be showing you guys these clips and I'll be showing you guys Well, I can't really show the clips because the shows are in them <sighs> Sorry, and that's illegal so I can't do that But I'll like mute it and sing over it or something. I don't know. But yeah, XQC is in deep trouble Sorry, bro, but like if you get a hundred million dollar deal to show on kick I'll be hoping it's your own content, own etc, own thing, old flame And just stealing multi-million dollar companies flames not cool. So, as we all know, XQC got a hundred million dollar streaming deal for only two years from, uh, sorry, Kick. Kick has very much a lot of energy right now. Kick has very much a lot of backers, a lot of streamers, just signing a lot of people. And XQC got the bag, bro. He really got the bag for Rizzle. But what did XQC do after he got the bag? Well, guess what he did, guys? He literally went on stream, streamed a movie, and then streamed a TV show. XQC, please get a grip, dude. In all honesty, bro, I mean, if I was XQC, I'll probably be doing the same thing. I'll be pushing kick to the limit, seeing if they would fold, where they would fold, how much can I get away with, and I guess that's like kind of what XQC did, but it's just sort of a bad look too, because you're just like, you know, kind of intentionally breaking DMCA law, watching Breaking Bad, watching The Dark Knight. Like, bro, you need to just like calm down a bit and, you know, be grateful for your fucking contract and make some XQC content, not Breaking Bad content. Also, to be honest, bro, I'm not like trying to hate on XQC. I respect the grind. Like, dude, you got a hundred million dollar contract for two years. That's awesome, man. Keep it coming. But what I don't understand is like, why would you jeopardize that entire contract, life, life-saving money, like double prestige, Call of Duty, life-saving money, like you have five lives and they can all be saved by that kind of money, a hundred million dollar deal money, bro, that's what you have? And you're jeopardizing that, dude? I don't know, that's just where I question it. But regardless, let's get into the video. So this whole drama started when, of course, XQC got signed for a hundred million dollars for a two-year exclusive deal with Kick. Of course, as any smart man would do, XQC took the money because, man, that's literally game-changing money. That's life-ending money. Even if you have like 25 mil in the bank, why would you not get another 100 million? XQCW at first. As soon as XQC was to get this deal, of course, he had to brainstorm in his XQC brain, what was he gonna do with the deal? What's he gonna do on kick? 
what's he gonna stream exclusively on kick his first idea was the dark knight movie yeah a movie he was gonna react to it upon streaming this movie you know he got into it he got into the plot a little bit he got into some of the action until a kick mod requested hey xqc please turn this off we don't want a lawsuit we don't want to have to end your deal please turn this off save the kids save yourself so xqc of course saw this message and then said okay he then ended the stream upon ending that stream in the next few days followed he kept it chill he talked to chat he reacted to some viral clips and then on the fourth day he just starts reacting to breaking bad the tv show another copyrighted piece of media that you don't really want to react to on your live stream because they will shut it down or sue you and take your money. XQC, he rolled the dice. I mean, he quite literally rolled the dice and he streamed it. And then another kick mod went to his chat and said, hey buddy, this is the second time this week. Can you please just make your own content and stop reacting to other people's TV shows and movies? Thank you. To give you. I don't think this is true. I think the reason that she mentioned him was because she was trying to farm clout and relevancy in a era where she doesn't really have any at the moment, like the Twitch space, you know, because she's been AFK so much. So she comes back and she just involves herself in the drama to be a part of the discussion still so she can keep getting views and traveling and not really streaming much. Right? That should not be. It's smart. Like, I'm not trying to hate on her. Like, it's just, I think that's the actual reason. I agree, Amaranth. I also do believe that Pokemon is trying to farm relevance and clout off of her recent takes on the situation. I also believe that you lied. You're a liar. Oh my god, I heard a shot go off outside my house. People are shooting at me. People are just mad because of the facts I'm spitting in this video right now. Contracts, it depends how much one company's willing to give what's you. Your, what's, your other what's, your, what's your number? What's your number? What's your number? It's not 100 mil. And honestly, I feel like it's probably less than your Rumble what, deal. I don't know. What's your number? Alright. <laughs> Alright, bye. Nice chatting with you. Take care. Uh, later. <laughs> <laughs> So we're never getting banned ever again? Damn, Kai Sinat went from trying to squash the situation with Pokemon and XQC to flirting with her. Damn, that's so wild. That's so Latino Ohio gat. That's so crazy. I think XQC is a good streamer. I think that he has cultivated a very large fan base to the point where he's getting offered a hundred million dollar contracts. That's amazing. Now, what I don't really pertain to like is the fact that I feel like he's just going, um, you know, the easy route. The route of, oh, I can watch Dark Knight. Oh, I can watch Breaking Bad. Oh, I can watch reality TV. Where, as we all know, that that's very messy water. That's, you know, really hard to get around with copyright law. Even though it may be seen as, oh, technically, it can be at times fair use if you commentate enough transform enough but even if you have a really well thought out commentary video about like a tlc show it's extremely hard to beat the copyright takedowns of that video so i think xqc should start playing world of warcraft or just calling people for eight hours because watching breaking bad and the dark knight obviously isn't gonna work out Ha ha ha, get shit on. If I was to get in a hundred million dollar contract, I would literally read and reread and reread the terms of service a million times. I mean, dude, XQC's been like, what, like two weeks, maybe three weeks into his deal, and he's already, you know, I mean, maybe up for termination. I'm not calling for termination, but I mean, it might be already violating the kick TOS to where someone could have a case against terminating his channel 
which could then go to core. I mean, if I'm the Dark Knight, I'm literally destroying XQC. If I'm owning Breaking Bad, I am destroying XQC. Let me know what you guys would do if you guys had XQC. I mean, I'm really curious. If you guys had Breaking Bad, would you destroy XQC? I'm curious. Now, I want to predict what's going to happen to XQC's deal with Kick. And will he continue to break? I mean, copyright law. I mean, XQC. I, 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 I'm hoping the best for you, bro. But XQC, it's not looking good. He's doing the emote. He did it. He did it. He did it. He did it. He's doing the emote. XQC. I love you. He was always with you. I always wanted to tell you, El underscore. He did the emote. El underscore. Epic James. He did the emote. El underscore. It was perfect! It was perfect! I do pray that XQC just continues to play Rocket League and put his hand up Pokemon's butt for his foreseeable streams. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen or not because, I mean, it's tempting to watch copyright in movies and shows. I mean, there's some times where I've been streaming and I'm just like, yo, I wanna watch the Roblox movie, but I just don't do it out of fear of getting banned. XQC got the money and he's like, dude, I don't even care. Do you guys think that XQC got the money before or after the deal? Now, me personally, I think that XQC got like maybe half of it up front because, dude, 100 mil is a lot of money. I'm thinking, I'm thinking XQC got like maybe 25, 50 mil up front and the rest is after the two years. That's what I would do. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments, bro. Also, don't take this video as like me not liking XQC. I don't think XQC is a bad person. It's just funny to joke about this guy who got a hundred million streamer dollar contract, and he's immediately like breaking the rules by watching movies and shit. You know what I'm saying? And the staff is going in his chat telling him, "Hey, you know, I, I you can't really watch this. Like, please turn it off." That's super funny in my opinion. Just my opinion, though. Let me know your thoughts, though. Have an amazing night. Bye bye.